Clancy Ross was born on October 26, 1923 in Oakland, California, to Herschel Ross, who worked as a teamster, and Jeanette Levi. However, Clancy's mother passed when he was young, and he was placed in a series of foster homes. A slight young man, at only 135 pounds, Clancy started weight training at 17. The conventional wisdom of the time was to follow a program of around one dozen exercises where you would do one set of ten reps of each exercise. Through consistency and dogged determination, in 18 months, Ross gained 30 pounds with this initial program. With America's involvement in World War II, the trajectory of Clancy's life and training changed. Ross signed up for the Army Air Corps on October 31, 1942. And in a pattern we see again and again with physical culture greats, Ross found a mentor. Specifically, while in the service, an old-time bodybuilder named Leo Stern took Clancy under his wing and showed him a type of split-set routine. Basically, it was a form of circuit training where movements were repeated during the workout. This was done three days a week, but it was also performed with less of a focus on strict form to allow for more weight to be handled with some slight modifications, including using Olympic lifts for building power, Clancy utilized this routine in preparation for the 1945 Mr. America contest, a title which he won. After which, Clancy became an early and vocal advocate for a multiple set type of training. An example of Ross's training is as follows. This workout took him around two hours to complete with approximately a one minute break between sets. The sets, reps, and weight used are as follows. Squat, 4 sets of 10 with 260, 310, 380, and 310. Leg press, 2 set, two sets of 16 to 20 reps with 585. Leg press calf raises, 1 set of 100 reps with 275. Bench press, 3 sets of 10 with 260. Incline press, 3 sets of 10 with 105 pound dumbbells. Barbell row, three sets of 10 with 170 pounds. Side raises, three sets of 10 with 50 pounds, 40 pounds, and 35 pounds. Barbell curl, three sets of 10 with 170, 170, and 165. One arm bent over curl, one set of 10 with 60 pounds. Behind the neck press, three sets of 10, 120. Behind the neck chin, or chin ups, one set of 10. Forward bend, twist, three sets. Bench push-ups, three sets of 20, one set of sit-ups, one set of leg raises, one set of bar hanging before finishing with one set of neck work. For frequency, Ross advocated three times a week on non-consecutive days. In regard to progressive overload, a key principle of Jailhouse Strong or the gradual increase of stress on the body, Clancy suggested starting with a weight you can lift easily, then add five pounds to the bar each session. Ross did use cheat reps or added body motion in looser form with certain exercises to allow you to handle more weight. Should your progress slow down or stop altogether, Ross advocated eating more calories and getting more rest. Clancy also suggested changing your routine from time to time because, quote, you want to you want to make it more progressive and interesting to avoid the sticking point in training, and to keep enthusiasm going strong, end quote. This is an important concept that a lot of people miss. To be successful with training, you have to stay excited about training. To record his progress, Clancy was ahead of his time. Long before the selfie craze, he took pictures of himself to have a record of his progress and to, quote, study each detail of your development at your leisure and intelligently decide what correct, corrective training measures must be taken, end quote. After a successful bodybuilding career that saw him win Mr. America and Mr. USA, while also sharing the stage with other legends like Steve Reeves and John Grimmick, both of whom we, f- we featured in earlier Jailhouse Strong videos, Clancy became a gen- gym owner. He had a gym in Alameda, California, and one in Walnut Creek, which is still in business, but now with a large commercial title. Away from the gym, Ross called for a balanced diet with lots of milk, like most of the old timers, and eight hours of continuous sleep. For recovery, Clancy said that you should, quote, 
take life easy, end quote. For more of these old stories, this history of physical culture, click subscribe.